What in the world is a chemical reaction? The rate. The rate of a chemical reaction is how fast it is occurring. So, let's define it. The rate of a reaction is the negative change in concentration. Here you're going to like this. When we're dealing with rates, we are only dealing with molarity. So all of the eight different types of concentrations or 13, depending on how you counted it. Uh, we only care about molarity here. So rates, molarity. Negative change in the concentration of a reactant divided by uh, the change in time. So rate equals negative change. Now concentration in chemistry, we're going to use brackets. So concentration of the reactant, that's how you read that. So, so have reactant in brackets, that means concentration, negative change over um, change in time. Or, you know, again, algebra base, most of you have probably already had calculus, but so negative of reactant, concentration of the reactant at time two minus concentration of your reactant at time one divided by time two minus time one. So again, we'll be dealing with uh, graphs and things so you can tell that this is a slope formula. So think about this. The concentration of a reactant, what happens when, we, when, we're, when we're running a reaction? We go from left to right. So our reactants become products. So as the reaction progresses, the amount of reactants that we have actually decreases as the reaction moves forward. So the concentration is decreasing, so that's a negative. And so we take the negative, so we do negative of a negative in order to make the overall rate positive. So the overall rate of the reaction uh, should always be positive. Now, if we're using our rate and we're expressing it as a function of concentration of one of the products, then as the, as the reaction goes forward, you're getting more products. So products are always positive because the concentration of products is increasing as we're moving along in the reaction. So, it is important here, we're gonna use everybody's favorite word, when we have a single rate, an overall rate for the entire reaction, the rate definition that we're gonna come up with has to reflect the stoichiometric coefficients. So you know what that means, we got to have a balanced equation. So just make sure that you're aware of that. So here's a generic reaction. Um, the capital letters are going to be our um, actual chemical substances. So big A and B are uh, reactants, big C and D are um, products. And then our lowercase letters are the corresponding coefficients. So now the rate of this reaction can be expressed four ways in terms of each of these. So it would be negative, if we're gonna start with A, um, and our coefficients go in the denominator. So the book kind of writes this as one over A, and then um, change concentration of A over delta T. If you want to combine that, uh, you can. Same thing for our other reactant, negative one over B, change in concentration of B over delta T. Now when we get to the products, products are increasing. So we don't use negative signs, we're going to use positive signs. So if you want to put a positive, great. Um, I usually just don't. So we're going to have one over the coefficient, change in concentration of the product, which 
change in time. 1 over D, change concentration of the product over change in time. So, all of these can be used. You can actually use the values um, that are given in order to, to calculate this. So, if I said, um, you know, the change in concentration of A is um, negative 2 molar and A is 3. So, just for example, so if I said A is 3 and this is, um, it's a reactant, so it's negative 3 molar. So what is going to be what is decreasing and over um, 60 minutes one on let's just do an example here so here it's plug and chug it's plug and chug it's not hard so negative 1 over coefficient which is 3 change in concentration that'd be negative 3 molar use your units here over 60 minutes. So there's our negative and our negative and it's positive. So that's going to be what a uh, three molar per minute. And that's uh, so three over 180. So that's what one over 60. So you can actually get a number there, but uh, so it would be molarity per minute. That would be the rate of the reaction. Now, assuming that I do this correctly, which I just made that up, so I'm not going to do the rest of these. Um, you should get this same uh, 1 over 60 uh, molarity per minute for each of these, depending on what, it, what, what what's given. So you, you, you don't have to do it four times. Use the information, pick one of them that you know. So, so let's kind of try this. So if we actually have a reaction, that's hydrogen gas, iodine gas, getting two moles of uh, iodic acid. So our rate here in our product, or our, sorry, our reactant would be, so our coefficient's one, so we don't have to worry about that, but it's negative change concentration of H2 over change in time. For our other reactant, there's no coefficient, so we don't worry about that, negative change concentration of our other reactant change in time now on our products it becomes positive so one over the coefficient it goes in the denominator change concentration over change in time so all of these mean the same thing you will get the rate of, the rate of reaction with all of these